And breaking news out of Iran this morning, that country's judiciary is sentencing a popular rapper to just over six years in prison. Tumaj Salehi is known as son of Iran and uses his lyrics to openly criticize the regime. Now, one of the accusations against him came as a result of a conversation last year that he gave to a CBC journalist. He spoke in Persian about his role in an underground movement fighting online censorship in Iran amid growing protests. CBC published that conversation online and aired portions of it. Salehi was acquitted of a possible death penalty charge. Rebecca Collard is following the story from Berlin. Rebecca, what do we know about his charges? Yeah, Chris, so uh, first I heard from a cousin of Salehi early this morning. She wrote me to tell me that he had been sentenced to uh, six and a half years um, for the charge of corruption on earth. Now, um, I think... In some ways, this was a little bit of a relief because of the fact, uh, like you just said, Chris, you know, this charge could actually carry the death penalty. Now, um, the other thing that I think is, is significant that according to his official Twitter account and also some comments made by his lawyer to an Iranian publication, these two other charges, uh, one being uh, colluding with a foreign government, which we believe is the charge that relates to this conversation that he had with a CBC journalist, um, and a second charge of insulting um, the leader of Iran's revolution and um, um, and the leadership of Iran, both those charges for now seem to have been dropped. So I think there's some relief uh, by this verdict, but what we're still hearing is that he will spend at least six uh, and a half years um, in prison for this charge, for the, his conviction in this charge of corruption on earth, Chris. And no doubt he has a lot of supporters. Uh, Rebecca, tell us what uh, the reaction has been like. Yeah, so, you know, um, I, I just actually spoke with um, a German member of parliament who is one of his political uh, sponsors. Now, he has political sponsors around the world, including in Canada, including uh, Canada's Minister of Natural Resources, Jonathan Wilkinson. Um, and these people are um, uh, members of parliament, usually senior political officials in foreign governments who advocate on behalf of him. Um, and they have been doing that really since he since he was taken into custody last year. And why don't we listen to what she said about uh, about this verdict that we heard about today? Now he only um, um, got like six and a half years in prison. So many people tend to be relieved and think about it as a very positive outcome. But if you think about it, that we still don't know what the accusations are really and what he did wrong. And if you, um, and we are very convinced that he is innocent of everything that he is accused of, then six and a half years are a lot. Yeah, you know, she also, in, in this conversation with me, uh, called it a perversion of the Iranian regime, that they've created this situation where uh, a man who was imprisoned, essentially, for his criticism of that regime, um, uh, is now going to serve six and a half years in prison, and there is this sense of relief among some of his supporters. But, you know, she was also very clear with me um, that, uh, that, that, that his supporters, that his followers, and people that are watching the situation in Iran uh, should not, um, you know, should not be too happy about this verdict, and they should not let this verdict distract them because of course the other thing is um we know that iranian prisons are very dangerous she said that uh she told me that one of the one of the good news that came out of this verdict as well is that he will be moved from solitary confinement into a normal prison and that of course is good news but iranian prisons are very dangerous places there are places where prisoners um often die and it's also important to remember she said you know there are um thousands of iranians that are imprisoned uh, many of them because of political charges like this uh like this dissident rapper and she said uh, despite this slight bit of relief, um, uh, there needs to be a lot of attention both on his case and also on the case of all the other uh, political prisoners that are in Iran at the moment, Chris. Thank you for that update, Rebecca. Rebecca Collard in Berlin.